everybody welcome back to our channel and today i am going to do the first episode of the um paranormal uh i'm going to call it paranormal activity uh lp because this is what i always want to call it so i'm going to call the series um lp paranormal activity and this is who we're going to be concentrating on in this in this um in the story this is is serious uh, Blackwell. He is the son of Amelia Blackwell. And if you don't know Amelia, Amelia is part of my Rags Riches family, legacy family that I did with Realm of Magic. So she's a spellcaster. Uh, she owns her own, own new A store. She has a family. She her journey is completely done. Um, so when it comes to her and the rest of the family, I will be taking care of their needs. But really, we will be paying attention to Sirius, who is named after Sirius Black in uh, Harry Potter, who you could thank my uh, Twitch viewers for that. So, um, first of all, it is like 5.30 in the morning. And uh, the reason why I kept him as a child, by the way, is because that children can now learn the medium skill. So instead of just aging him up like I was going to, I just decided to, oh, he's gonna react to his first snow. I decided to keep him a child just so that we can get him um, um, at a start as early as possible just to see the interactions for the kids. He's gonna interact with his first snow, that's so cute. All right, so what I wanna see, because I know his mom wouldn't immediately put a, uh, they say on the table in the house because she's not into spirits like that. So I'm wondering, is there a medium scale book that he can sneak and purchase? Let's see. Ah, uh, let me see. It would be in the M. And no, there is no. So, all right. So if a child wants to sneak and play and try to play with spirits, how would they go by doing that? Oh, and by the way, yes, let me do this. This will also help. <laughs> I am going to turn this house. I am so sorry, Amelia, but I am going to have to turn your house into a haunted house in order to help out, um, to help out, um, Cyrus. And I'm going to do spooky. Uh, let me see. Okay, so for right now, I'm doing the spooky the child's play and the good schools to help him and his brothers um, to learn skills faster. Uh, I'm gonna also get the Giltree portrait. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna get rid of, I'm gonna get rid of this picture. I'm gonna get rid of this picture. And then we're gonna get this one and we're gonna put you here. Because we're going to pretend that this picture of, of Giltry has always been here. Just like these pictures here from um, the other packs. Let me see. So, and the thing is, and I forgot to tell you guys, is that with uh, Cyrus, um, unfortunately, he has a hard time dealing with, basically building relationships with um, the living. He doesn't, he's not good with people. He doesn't like talking with people. Most of the time you guys will see him on this computer talking to whoever it is online. He's not good with face-to-face -face interaction. So what I'm thinking is that instead of him um, trying to get like relationships with the living, that maybe he's better off getting relationships with the dead. Oh, and let me show you guys his brothers. Who is this one's also sneaky and not having a good day. Um, <laughs> let me see. This is Damon, and this is his brother Van. And I'm gonna need y'all to come over here and not pay attention to each other, but please come over here, Amelia, and take care of your sneaky son. This is oh, I forgot to introduce you guys to her. This is her wife, uh, Giliana. She used to be a doctor. She's now retired. She is at home now trying to help take care of the kids. Uh, let me see. They have an hour before they get to school. He is in here eating peas. Wait. Didn't I have someone cook breakfast? Wait. Let me see something. 
Okay, I can understand you don't want mac and cheese for breakfast. That is completely understandable. But peas, though? You can't get cereal? What's going on here? <laughs> she is over here getting down with her bad self. But I could have sworn. Really? So instead of cooking for your son, you gave him a, um... All right. This family is dysfunctional. I'm going to tell you that right now. This family is dysfunctional. I'm going to try my best to only pay attention to Cyrus, but if you guys was in my live, my live yesterday, I'm watching me play this family. Y'all know I'm going to be all over the, all over the place. So just be warned. I'm going to have to actually put down a uh, high chair. If y'all were just going to give them, keep giving them sippy cups. And I forgot to show you guys this little guy as well. His name is Brady. This is, um, they got this little puppy for Cyrus because Cyrus is a dog lover. He loves animals. And in the, whoop, and in the future, this little one is actually, oh, this little one is actually going to be his familiar because he is, they're all spellcasters. This entire family is all spellcasters. Don't lick that. Oh, that's gross. Get over here. Well, no, you're going to paint something. Sure. I'm going to need you to come over here and lecture him about drinking your puddles, please. Now they're all off to school. And it's going to take the toddlers forever to get here. I, I got her. She collected all the totems, actually. Um, because in her journey, we went through the entire world of Going to each, um, going to each sage, learning the spells, learning the potions. We went through the entire bit. And for her to just suddenly forget everything, probably because I haven't played her in a while or the game glitched or whatever, that's very frustrating. But yeah, it's, it's going to be a while for me. Ma'am? Hello? Yeah, see? what I say? Game broken like always. What in the? Stop. Stop, you're supposed to paint that first. Because I think that since she's taking to painting, I'm going to have her sell these also in her shop so she can make some money. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just realized I saw him glow purple. And I'm like, wait a minute. And we already have a specter. Oh my gosh. We already have a specter. But you know what? Um, Cyrus is not here yet. He's the only one that's going to be interacting with them. So I'm not going to do anything as of yet. Why are you sick? Oh no, you're sick. I'm not going to do anything yet. <laughs> Look at him just glowing purple. Oh my god. He's the first one to actually interact with the ghost of this, um, of this lot. That's so cute. And she's wondering. She's probably, I don't know whether she would see. She would see it. Feeling protective. Oh. Well, maybe she can see him glow purple. And it's like, why is he glowing purple? All right. Okay. So Sirius is back. Uh, Let's see. Do we have any more specters? Please tell me there's other specters. Did he lose his chance? Oh, my God. His younger brother was able to interact with the spirits a little bit. Oh, no. Okay, well, come in here and do your homework. Yes, you're tired, but you're going to have to come in here and do your homework, please. Oh, look at this. He's tired. But he also has a project that he needs to do. He also has spoiled baloney in his inventory. Why? I don't know. Let's get rid of that. He is still glowing purple. Oh, my. I wonder if he could talk to his brother about it. Is there a way that you could talk to your brother about it? Let me see. Uh, let's see. Any interactions here? No. What about funny since he's playful? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> you can't talk to your brother because I would think that he would actually see that his brother is glowing and I would think that he would ask about it. Ask them about it, like, why are you glowing? But, of course, that's not going to happen. What is this? He's tense. Cyrus is still tense. Uh. It will take a moment for him to generally relax. Why are you so tense? He doesn't even have the loner. Sir, hello? 
He doesn't even have the loaner trade. So for him to just act like this out of the blue, it's good for the storyline, but still, <laughs> it's weird. Oh, he's knocking at my door. Oh my God, wait, 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 wait. Okay, he's a specter, he's a specter, he's a specter. He's a specter. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. Get up, wake up, why are you sleeping at nine o'clock when you have a project to do anyways? Come here, attempt to communicate. Well, actually, no, watch. I want you to watch first. Go ahead and watch. Oh my God. And Karen, her sister Karen is at the door, but I'm actually just gonna get her to leave because why is she here at night anyways? I will be doing a um an introductory video on her and how her life is because I want y'all to be caught up with this family's um this family's life. I'm gonna have you tell her to go away first. Sir, where are you? Are you on the computer? Did we miss it again? <laughs> okay, sir. I'm gonna need you to work with me. Please work with me. Okay, so since it's now 10 o'clock, now you may, let me see, you're in bed and you're sleeping. Okay, I'm just going to make sure you don't get up in time. Since you went to bed kind of early, I guess it's okay. The level that it's at right now. But yes, you need to do your homework, your project. Ma'am, what are you up to? What are y'all doing? I'm gonna have her go to sleep. Why are you scared? Why are you actually scared? What happened? What happened? What happened? What was that? Wait, 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 wait. First of all, do not pay attention to her. What was that? Yuliana knew this place was haunted, but some things are creepy no matter how you splice it. And goosebumps. Yuliana can't help but notice this place is a little haunted. Okay, I'm gonna need you to hide under the covers because she's an elder. I don't want her to like die. Uh, uh. Hello, no. Project first. He is also scared. I am going to be going into the reward store and giving him the brave, um, giving him the brave trait when we have the chance. Okay, 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 okay. Come here, come here. I might have to teleport you. I'm not even gonna lie. I might have to teleport you. Come on, please. Come out here and watch this specter, please. Come on. Was that a ghost? I just saw something green. Was that a ghost? Like a regular one. Let me see, embarrass. Awkward aura. You feel an immense, uncomfortable presence emanating nearby. I could've sworn I saw a ghost in the house, but okay. Um, sir, hello? What are you doing? Okay, well, how about you try with communication? It breaks curfew, but, you know, we don't care. Let me see. You have several questions, but just being around this one makes you feel incredibly uncomfortable. Seems friendly... Seems friendly enough, at least. Well, he's trying to commit communication. Um, okay, I'm gonna go. Float over here, I guess. Aww. It didn't go well. Well, you know what? This is his first interaction with a specter. And there it goes, floating away. Okay, so he is not going purple. He is feeling sick. He is nauseous from it. Wait, it's back. Hold on. Can we... You know what? That That's just... Let's just leave it as that. <laughs> so he... I basically... Why was the lights on in the house? Was there something creepy going on I didn't know? Aw, oh, did I miss it? <laughs> but anyways, there was his first experience with a specter. He's now gonna go to sleep. You're gonna go to sleep, right? Sleep, yes. We're gonna go to sleep and he's gonna continue on in the morning. Okay, so <laughs> it is now the morning and of course we have yelling and unhappy stinky toddlers. But Cyrus, I'm gonna need you to get up, please and try to finish this off. Um, 
Yuliana, she needs help. She needs help. What in the world? Hold on. Oh my goodness. They have some green slime. Wait. They actually have some green slime in, in here. What is this? Can I click it? Oh wait, no, I can't click it. Can you click it? You can click it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have her clean it up because she is the neat sim, even though she doesn't have the trait, but she is the neat sim of the house. So she goes mops, she cleans, she does laundry. So she probably wouldn't think anything of this green goo that's mysteriously appeared out of nowhere. She would just mop it up. But um, now you are supposed to be, let me see. Um, okay, I'm gonna go float over here, I guess. Wait, are you still here? Oh, you are still here. Look. Oh my God. Wait, did you just interact with the... She interacted with the spirit all on her own. Okay, so she also knows that this house is haunted. But like I said, she's not... Okay, she's not really into spirits like that. She probably just told the spirit to go away. But, oh my God, that is still cool. Why are you not done with this yet? Okay, you know what? I'm sorry. Go to school, please. Go to school. Thank you so much. She's gonna have to complete this and then bring it to school the next day. Fun and throbby. Too cool, cool, huh? Wait, he's going. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I just saw him glowing. Oh my gosh. Wait, come here, come here, come here. Don't even do your homework yet. Well, uh, attempt the communication. See if you can talk to him or them, whichever this specter is. Please do not do your homework right now. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Come on. Please, 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 go. Go, 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 go. He's happy. Happy from what? Diligent work. Aw. Okay, so now he's talking to another one. That was his auntie, but we don't got time to talk to humans right now. <laughs> Let me see. Does this get your medium skill up just by talking to them? No, it doesn't look like it. So how do kids actually... Look like he's having fun with him, no. That was cute. Okay, he wants to go to kids' chat room, but how do you even get the medium skill as a kid, though? If they can use a medium skill, how can they when they're a child? Because it's just as creative, mental, motor, or social. It doesn't say medium. I'm going to have to look this up. Okay, so I'm going to have to get the seance table in order for them to... Now, how would I get them to do this? <laughs> Let me see. All right, so what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to get this cauldron. Okay. Now I'm going to say this is an addict that they rarely come to. And I'm going to get rid of this cauldron. And I'm going to put the seance table here. Um, Let me see. Seance table. Here we are. Let's go with the theme of the house, which is going to be... And I, they say you could do any chair. So, and but I'm still going to use the chair that comes with it. This table. And I'm thinking I'm just going to do one. Just because I only want him to do it for now. Maybe in the future he can add other people who want to do it with him. But for now it's going to be him. So, I'm going to say in the story that... um. And they had this table here. They don't know what it is. Um, I'm gonna give them like the crystal ball as well. Yeah, I'm gonna give them the crystal ball as well. Do a blue one. So yeah, this is just an addict of old stuff, like really old books, old um like artifacts and stuff like that. And this seance table has been here, but she herself has never um, played with this before because she's not interested in it. By the way, now that I'm looking at this house, how did the upstairs not have wallpaper? Let's fix that. <laughs> 
actually did oh yes 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 the um the paranormal pack did come with its own wallpaper so i'm going to put that up here stuff back okay and why not there we go okay good so while he actually talked to the specter I'm going to be responsible, let him do his homework, and then I'm going to have him play with the seance tape. But you know what? And of course, as he tries to talk to him, he immediately wants to go to the computer. But this is what we're going to do. You're going to come upstairs, actually. And we are going to send spiritual, what is it, vitality? Yeah. You gonna be like, I'm gonna go upstairs into the attic. And he was like, don't mess up with don't mess with anything you're not supposed to. Of course not. Of course he is. <laughs> Say Lenore. There we go. There's a the medium skill. Whoop, sorry. Oh, he's sick. Why are you sick? No. I didn't want you to be sick. I wanted to take a screenshot. Damn it. <laughs> Nobody to share a smile with. Without someone to share it with, Cyrus Playful Fun will fade away. But he's going to get some friends pretty soon. Uh, He has tiger scrapes, but I don't see any sickness down here for some reason. Maybe this is a side effect of him actually messing with the seance table. Oh, well, this is what we're going to say. We're going to say that the messing with the spirits is messing with his health. And um, in order for him to get over it, like, you know, when sometimes when you, well, for the people who actually believe in that type of stuff, when you actually mess with the spiritual aspects and you get side effects, sometimes you feel lightheaded, sometimes you feel nauseous. I'm thinking that's what Cyrus is experiencing. Cyrus detects some very happy haunts. The living and the dead are coexisting in harmony. Well done. Spectres would be friendly. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, wait, is he actually going to go read? He's actually going to go and read. Wait, wait, which one are you going to read? I honestly, I did not know kids can read the totems. I really did not know that they could read the totems. But this is what I wanted him to do in the future. So are you actually going to learn this spell? It's just going to be a regular book for you. I think this just might be a regular book for him. So yeah, I don't think... Oh my god, he can meet Gidry! Yes! He can meet Gidry! Okay, where? Where are you? Because you are going to be his first friend. Wait, is he around you? What was that green? Wait, where is he? Where is he? No, 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 no. There he is. There he is. Hey! Go and meet your first friend. Do a respectful, a respectful introduction. Come on. Now it's not time for the computer. Get down. Get downstairs. Get downstairs. Come on. Get downstairs. Get downstairs. Get downstairs. Respectful introduction. Somebody broke the radio. Somebody broke the radio, but I'm not fixing it because I'm tired of them dancing by the radio. Um, sir. Okay, there we go. This is going to be his first friend, his first best friend. This is, we're going to call Giltry his imaginary friend. That's what we're going to say. When everybody else is talking, if maybe look at Giltry or whatever, we're going to pretend that they feel his energy, but they don't know, they don't believe that he's actually real. That's what we're going to say. This is going to be so cute. Oh my God. Okay. So, hi Giltry. Let's see. Who are you? Oh, 
Claude Giltry. But you can call me Giltry. I'm a bit of an expert in the paranormal, and I never turn down a chance to help someone in need. I've been chasing after the unknown all my life and afterlife. Let me know if you need any help. Okay, is there anything else we can ask? We are going to ask him so much stuff. Let me see. Um, not any advice. Let me see. Oh, what's the deal with Spectres? Yes. He keeps wanting to get to that freaking computer. Okay, now are you sick? No, he's still not. He's still being affected by the paranormal. Who knows? Maybe they're the manifestation of the lost dreams and ambitions of the mankind. Or maybe I'm reading into um, into things too much. One thing I do know is that they love presents. If you manage to make them happy, they'll cough up something useful and put in a good... And put in a good word with the rest of the entities in this house. Um, Giltree? Oh, he's enthusing about dogs. That's cute. But the entire power in the house just went off. Hold on. Giltree, is there any way you can help with this situation? Let me go to more choices. Something terrible appears. Something, something hasn't arrived yet. I'm, you must be terrified to say this. Okay. I can't get a chance to eat. But you was about wait, he said I can't get a chance to eat, but he was no, he was gonna clean that up actually. Um no no no. I, I'm gonna need you to get over here and talk to him. Oh now he's playful. Okay. I need you to get over here and have the best relationship you can. Uh what's up with those creepy objects? I'm guessing he saw the slime. I'm actually going to get rid of how is everybody else? I need to check up on. I need to check up on everybody else. So she's scared. <laughs> Amelia's sleeping. You should actually be sleeping too. Now that I think about it. Are you done with the toilet yet? Hold on. You okay? Yeah. You'll want to stay away from those at all costs. Those things are super cursed. Just being near them is like nails on a chalkboard for your soul. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled and get rid of them the second they show up because they're not friendly. Okay, I'm going to make her go to sleep. Yes, sleep. And then, let me see. I'm going to say he's going to ask this for his family. But he sees that his family is very scared when things happen. So I'm going to ask... Wait, no, not you, sorry. Not you, not you. I'm gonna ask Giltree um, about being less scared. What can help us become less scared? How can I make things this less spooky? Yes, we'll ask that. <laughs> Look at their relationship already. It's already to that halfway point. Oh my God. What the, oh, who is this? Efrain Hong is haunting our house. <laughs> he is, I think he's the ghost that I saw before. And I was like, I saw something green. He must have died at old age, but he seems to be a happy ghost. Gildry! Oh, Lord. You know what? It's actually going to be good when he learns... The uh, repair -o because with all these ghosts in his house being haunted, he's going to have to repair a lot of stuff. Of course, the state of the haunted house degrades over time, so it's up to you to keep it, uh, keep the spookiness in check. Performing ceremonies at a seance table is a great way to sedate the entities of the house, as well as appeasing any wandering specters you might find. If you're ever in doubt what state the haunted house is in, try using the sense spiritual vitality seance, which we did earlier. Okay. I just want them to become best friends, like, immediately. Let me see. What else can we ask? What else can we ask? Uh, let me see. Ashley is, like, 
Okay, you know what? It is 12.30 in the morning. I am actually gonna have him, he's not terrified yet, but I am gonna have him basically go to sleep or try to, try to sleep and leave Giltry alone. Giltry, you can go wander around and be helpful, maybe repair the sink, hopefully. And that ghost we had, I wonder if it's going to be a regular ghost that haunts us. I don't know why. This is her, Amelia's nephew. I don't know why he keeps showing up. I don't know why he keeps showing up, but he needs to go. Oh, look. Okay, you know what? At least um, we know that Cyrus is doing something right. Because the ghost is around here is actually happy. And with that being said, I'm gonna leave this part here. I am so happy that we got the ball rolling with Cyrus. I am happy that he has not encountered any mysterious or mean spirits. They're all been happy. So this is a good start. This is a good start. So this actually will um, build up in the storyline of him actually being brave and being excited to actually see the spirits and instead of being scared of them. I am happy with the pack so far. This is the first time I'm recording it, but I'm happy that he met Giltry. Oh my God, I cannot wait to see in the future what it's gonna be for Cyrus and his life. I'm hoping that you guys can as well um, be happy to be on the journey with me. This is gonna be the first LP on, this, on the on YouTube channel in a while. So if you guys like the video, please like it. Comment on your um, opinions of the pack down below. If you guys any got, if you guys have any suggestions on the LP yourselves, please comment on that down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. You guys have a great day.